So stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm gonna answer a question that I know that I'm gonna get asked, so don't miss it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to level a pad. Uh, there's some techniques you can use with a land plane or a box blade that will really help you level out if you got little bumps and dips and stuff in a in a pad this is a build site gonna we're putting our cabin here 16 by 44 so the cabin's gonna go here but i'm gonna walk you through how to level this site and and doing a crisscross pattern and then movement twisting uh, 90 degrees and doing crisscross patterns and what that does it will eventually if you keep doing the pattern it will level this out really nice we have a laser level we're gonna bring in and so we'll double check our work but first off, we have been cutting trees down and laying them in this area because it's easy to work on. And we've all the trees that are around that we're afraid that might fall down on us and we wake up with them in our bed, that's, they had to go. So we've got rid of all those, but what we ended up with is a lot of debris. So we're gonna use the, this is the 327 by Precision Manufacturing. It's a, a double a double clamshell type grapple. I guess that's what it's called. Uh, grapple rake is I think how they call it. This one has a little bit more uh, curve out on the bottom than our smaller one, but it's really good for this kind of stuff because it has a skid on the back. So we can set the grapple down and just skid across, scooping up all of the uh, loose stuff, and then we'll get the land plane down here. Let's get to it. So I've had a lot of people ask about our shipping address or somewhere they can ship us something. So we've actually included our PO box for the business in the description of the video Got a lot of people that wants to send gizmo uh like toys or something if you're going to do that please send it from say like amazon or a pet store that ships it and then they'll usually have like a little gift note and if you tell who it's from and the little gift note we'll read it out in the upcoming videos
Okay, so we got the tractor down here. We got the land plane on. We got the bucket here just in case I need the bucket. But um, what we're going to do is use the land plane to level this out. And there's a there's a pattern that seems to work pretty good if you basically we're going to first off we're going to go back and forth like this, just like we did. So because I, it's a hillside and a drop off. I can't go all the way one way or all the way the other way because the tractor's front end would be off, you know, off the run off the little cliff down there. So what I'll have to do is I'll go this way and then I'll go back this way. Then I'll rotate it around 90 degrees and, and go across like this uh, and then back the, the other way so I can get all of the edges. So that'll get us a start. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that same pattern and we're going to rotate it about 45 degrees and then do the same patterns again like this. And you keep doing this, you can really level some ground out and get it within just a few inches, maybe even an inch difference between the whole thing without having any kind of specialized tools. Now what we have here is the Kowitz. I lost it. It, it, moved, it moved on me. Um, our Bosch laser level kind of pooped out on us. So we get, ended up getting this, it's a called Kowitz laser level. We've got some of their multimeters and they're really good. And again, this, this is a very good unit too. Um, it's got uh, rechargeable batteries and I thought that was a pretty neat thing. So back in the day when you were going to buy a laser level or if you were thinking about buying a laser level, it would, when you looked at the price, it would really it would really throw you away because, uh, you know, back in the day, you go buy a laser level. Back in, you know, yesterday's prices, they were like thirteen to fourteen hundred dollars, and today's prices, a uh, a decent laser level is going to run you, you know, probably that much or more still. Price does go down, but you can pick up one of these here for. I, I want to think these are like, you know, three four hundred dollars if you get the laser level, and then you do you do have to buy the receiver separately. So this is a little, it's a green laser level. So you use a green receiver. And we've already got our set up and uh, it just screws on the back of this thing with a, a little quarter inch screw it looks like. And all you have to do to make this work is turn the laser level on. It has a little pulse button. Push the pulse button, turn the receiver on and that's it. It tells you where you're at. So what we're going to do is set this laser level off to the side, out of the way, because we don't want to have to keep moving it, and get us a, uh, we're going to do our first level with a, with a uh, tractor, and then we'll come back and see how, after we, do, after we do our pattern, we'll come back and see how level it is across the whole thing. But if you're building stuff like we are building stuff, Nowadays, it's affordable to, you know, you can afford to have a, a, a really decent laser level. And this, this is great for a house size. And the lines are very strong. I don't know if you can see that on my hand, but the lines, the lines are very, very strong. So you can like, if you're using it indoors or outdoors, it does a good job. So I'm gonna set this thing right over here out of the way. And this will be our the permanent place we've put it. I should be able to get most of my measurements from right here. And this thing is strong enough, it'll go across the entire pad. Now you will notice some degradation in your distance when you are, it's a really, really sunny day, uh, a really hot sunny day. But right now, like this is an overcast day. Gosh, this thing will probably do a thousand feet. We had an opportunity to go to a seminar with Eco Panels of Tennessee. We are working with them to build our cabin. And this is some, you know, this is some video that I'm gonna be showing you a little bit of now, but the full video will be coming out real soon wooden subfloor you would attach the plate and this is all in the assembly manual oh, this panel is going to sit down over and then flush with the subfloor and flush with the outside uh, all the way around now okay we're headed back to the regular video now stay tuned and we'll be putting out that video very soon
nothing out here is really that important. We have, uh, this is all field dirt out here. So it's been packed pretty well, but I think, uh, you know, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and do leveling. But at the end of the day, this is gonna settle quite a bit over, over the next year. So we're not too worried about this, but today when we get done, it'll all be pretty level. We made big headway. This is actually the this is actually the portion of the pad that's going to be where the cabin sets. So we made huge headway right here, uh, it, where the cabin is going to set is pretty much spot on. However, over here on this side, because we didn't use the laser level, we we dug all this out using the laser level. So that's why it's it's within two or three inches. It was within two or three inches to begin with. Over here, we kind of eyeballed it, and now you can see that this section, it has, it's got a little rise over here. So we're gonna have to work on that section a little bit by itself. So it's uh, roughly, right here is roughly three inches above uh, in height. And it, it only gets worse as it goes this way. So we got a little rise up and over. So we're gonna take the tractor over here, and we're just gonna do some shaving. Now we're gonna do some finesse, but overall, the actual portion where the cabin's going to be is, I mean, well, it's, it was just with a half inch, half inch to an inch out all across. So that, that looks great. I'm excited about it. See, we're right here, just whip it around, spot on. We're, we're literally like, you can't get any better than that. Just can't get any better. Again, out front here, it's not gonna matter because this is all gonna settle. From here, from here out is uh, dirt that we've, we've filled dirt. We've brought this field dirt in. And it's going to settle over a period of time, but we really packed it well. 
we put it in in layers and drove the tractor over it at layers and layers and layers at a time. So I don't think it's gonna it's gonna drop a whole lot, but it will settle. But that's something we'll we'll worry about that when when the time we'll worry about that when the time comes, right? I got a nod behind the camera over there. All right, let's put this away and work on that little heel right there. So we spent a couple of, I'd say probably a total of maybe two hours, actually, maybe three hours total. I didn't really look at the clock. But in three hours, we took our pad that was pretty rough, and it is now within, I would say within one inch of level throughout the entire thing now. We just cut this hill down. I was afraid it was gonna hold water. And so we cut this little hill down. Let's see where we're at. So we're still a little high here. Nothing like where we were. Went a little too far. So even right here, right now, we are approximately four, four and a half inches too high right here. When you're over there, it doesn't look that way. And I don't want to bring dirt back that way because it, it, then it'll be soft. Everything right there is hard because it's we've just dug down to that point. So this has got to be, we need to shave about, we've, we've taken about probably four or five inches off of it. So we need to do another four or five inches. And you're hot and you wanna go home, right? Gimmo, are you hot and wanna go home? Hmm? Don't look at me that way. Give me all that attitude. Hey, the heat index is only like 104 right now. It's all good. Walk in the park. I gotta adjust my top link. A while ago I had my top link pushed back and I didn't realize it. I mean, I had my detent pushed back and it was causing the tractor to deadhead hydraulic pressure. And I couldn't figure out why this thing was, why it had no power. And it's because I guess when I got on, I bumped it with my hand. And I also, I guess I uh, have adjusted the top link. That's why it wasn't cutting as good as it was before. Let's see if we can do a little better here. Might cut some more, we might cut a little faster this time. So I'm gonna answer a question real quick that I know that I'm gonna get asked and uh, this is why. All right, the question is going to be, why don't I use rippers on a land plane? Well, a land plane, first off, is not meant to carry, it's not meant to pull dirt in a direction. It's really a, a precise instrument used for shaving. So you're shaving off high spots and dropping off dirt in the low spots. And the reason I say you can't carry a very much load with you is because the the cutters are only roughly about six to eight inches tall depending on your on your on your cutters and in this particular case i think mine are like six and maybe seven inches tall so what that means is is that you can only after the dirt or whatever the material you're pulling is gets over that seven inches it falls over the to the back and that's what gives you this smooth finish uh, finish now we're the probably the only thing i can think of that rippers are really good for with a land plane is if you are doing gravel. Now, sometimes gravel will get really, really hard and the land plane will just skirt right across the top of it. And the land, if you put the uh, uh, rippers in, what it does is it'll bust the, bust the gravel up and bring it up to the surface. And then the, the land plane can do its job where that gravel picks up, drops, drops gravel in the high spots 
and then the second cutter collects the leftovers and then kind of pretty much evenly distributes it across the back and that's how you get that really that really smooth cut so i hope this is helpful um guys we're getting ready to put post in the ground i mean we're right now uh tomorrow morning we're putting bat boards up for the cabin uh we've the cabin is uh is a sit panel cabin they're already working on building the panels right now so we got to get the uh, post in the ground we're doing a pier system for the cabin to sit on 60 posts right here so you guys stay tuned for that if you're interested in it god bless have a great day mm -hmm.